Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics. We're going to work this problem in equilibrium. We have two poles, we have kind of two stoplights hanging from some kind of cable. And you can see that there's a 15 degree angle here between cable AB and the horizontal. This is a horizontal line and then we have a cable CD with a, another angle. But this angle is unknown, we don't know what that angle is. And we know the masses of these two lights, so this one is not as massive as this one over here. And then we're asked to find not one, not two, not three, but four things, four variables, four unknowns. Basically, we want the tension in all three segments, AB, BC, and CD. So we want to know the forces everywhere. And then we want to know the angle here, the angle in um, uh, there that that makes with the horizontal. So when you, when you look at a problem like this, especially after I did a simple problem before, you look at this and you're like, oh my goodness, this looks totally different. Right? Because usually when you have a particle equilibrium, there's like one spot you're focusing on and all of the arrows, all of the vectors go into that one spot and you write all of your equations. But this is a little bit different because there is not one spot. There's actually two things hanging here and a lot of students get totally confused when you see a problem like that. All right, um, I could have done easier problems, of course, but I want to give you examples of things that you're going to see and how to tackle them. All right? The thing is, okay, if this thing really is an equilibrium, Okay, then that means that this stoplight is not moving anywhere, and it also means that this stoplight is not moving anywhere. So yes, we could treat this whole thing as a single uh, system, and we could probably make some progress that direction. I'm not, I mean, we could probably. But what I like to do is focus on this as its own little system, and then separately focus on this as its own little system. Because if you zoom in on this, you see there's a tension, tension, and a weight, and an angle. And then if you focus on this, there's tension, 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 and an angle, right? But when you split it up, notice that this system is going to have a tension going that way, and this system is going to have a tension going that way. So there's basically a common uh, cable in between those two lights, and that's going to be important later because ultimately that's going to cancel out of some of the equations and make them a little easier to solve. So yes, you could try to treat this as, as its own system, but then it becomes difficult to know how to sum everything together. So let's zoom in here and zoom in here. So we need to really write two free body diagrams, but before we do that, how, uh, what is the force acting down on this? Uh, I can do that in probably blue, a little bit better. So I'll say weight one is mass times gravity, which is 10 kilograms times 9.81. So weight one is, well, we'll do it like this. Um, 98.1 newtons. So that's how much force is going down here. We'll change this to weight number two, which is mass times gravity, which is 15 kilograms times 9.81. And so when you do this multiplication, you get 147.15 newtons. So we do that out of the way because it's easy, and we know that we want to know the force of gravity acting down on each one of those th guys, and we know that that's purely in the y direction. All right, so let's draw some free body diagrams, one for this and one for this. So on this side, basically what I'm going to have is point B, which is that point right there. And acting on this point is going to be a uh, force to the, to the right, okay? We're going to call that, we could call it tension, like we've done here, but just to show you that it's just a variable, you know, it doesn't really matter too much, I'm going to say, I'm going to call this FBC, uh, acting to the right, okay? And then down, straight vertically down, we have a weight of 98.1 newtons. And then acting this way, we have some force, we'll call it AB because it's acting along segment.